Um, good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing? Was, oh, that's a bad time to get a phone call. Um, well, welcome, you guys. I want to thank you guys all for coming out tonight. Um, our church has been doing these faith statements with confirmation for a really long time. And for a long time, our church has done such a wonderful job at loving to hear these faith statements um, on Sunday mornings. But this year, we have too many excellent kids who are wanting to confirm their faith. And so we kind of figured having 12 people read on a Sunday morning would get a little long combined with the service. I agree. Clap for that. That's too many. Um, no, it's awesome. We are super blessed to have um, 12 awesome kids confirming their faith tomorrow morning. Um, and I'm really excited to hear them. They all have written wonderful, wonderful faith statements. They all have worked really hard on these things. And, and it's something really worth celebrating. Um, and celebrating not just the work that they've done, but the faith that our God has put in their hearts. And so I'm excited for you guys to hear what they've written tonight. Um, if you didn't grab one, you don't need it. But in the back, um, there are these little, they're really, Sandy kind of designed them as bookmarks, but they've got kind of the order we're going in tonight, just right through the alphabet, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, if you're not, we'll, we'll talk later. Um, but we're going to be going right through it. But Sandy kind of designed these as bookmarks so that you can take one tonight and you can stick it in your Bible or stick it in a place you will see it. Um, and remember occasionally to pray for these confirmands as they um, continue to grow in their faith throughout their life and that we continue to hold them in our prayers. So um, I'm going to pray for us and then we will get going. <laughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for tonight. We thank you for these 12 wonderful youth who are excited to confirm their faith and who have worked hard on these faith statements. Um, and God, we just pray over these faith statements that they can be really true of these youth in their lives, that they can continue to grow in their faith, and that they can continue to grow closer to you. So we ask these things in your name. Amen. All right. Ellie, you ready? All of these kids are super excited to read in a room full of people. They asked, could we do it two or three times? And I said, one's probably enough. But, but we'll see. If it's really good, Ellie, there might be an encore. So let's give a little clap for Ellie Allen. Hi, my name is Ellie Allen, and I'm here today to confirm my faith. For my confirmation verse, I chose Psalm 37.5. Commit everything you do to the Lord, trust him, and he will help you. I chose this verse because I think it is important to put all your trust into God because he always knows what to do to get through whatever you're going through. And trusting him is believing who he is and what he says, but also having confidence in how he is going to shape your life. Over the past few years, my faith has really grown, and I think someone who has helped me a lot with that is my mom. My mom always reminds me to put God first and that he will always know how to help me. Putting God first to me is just doing things in the glory of him and not for yourself or others. My faith has changed a lot as I've gotten older, definitely for the better. I have really been trying to work on my faith more and have been trying to keep learning more about God and the things he has done for us. I really want to keep reading my Bible and going to youth group to keep learning. One thing that has challenged me a lot through my faith journey is my mental health and how to deal with it. I used to not think to talk to God or pray when I was going through rough times, but I've realized that God was always with me trying to help. I just ignored the signs. Once I started thinking more about my faith, I looked for his signs and his presence with me, and it's made me a much happier person knowing he will always be there for me and love me unconditionally. When I think of God, I think of unconditional love no matter what, and I know he is always there to help and guide us. I believe that Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross for us to save us. And so we would be forgiven all of our sins and we can go up to heaven. Faith in my family looks like going to church on Sundays and Wednesdays, talking to God and praying. Um, I learned about my faith when I was younger, when I would go to church on Sundays with my aunt sometimes. And I would go to the Sunday school while the service was going on, and we would get taught about God. But I never really paid that much attention and didn't really think that much about God until these past few years. 
I think we need a savior because none of us are perfect because we sin and we all need to be forgiven of our sins so we can go up to heaven. I would say I've had a pretty strong relationship with Jesus recently. I feel like I've been really looking for the signs from him and talking more to him. I like to spend time with God by praying and reading my Bible more to grow closer to him. My name is Trevor Anderson, and my confirmation verse is Matthew 19, 26. It says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with, all, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I picked this verse because it shows how powerful God is in our lives. It also shows that without God, we are set to failure. I am confirming my faith to take a step further into the journey with Christ. My faith is important to me because without it, I have no hope or support to live my life the right way with Jesus. My faith has gotten stronger throughout my life because of things that have happened in the people who have came into my life and are left. The things that have happened made me grow up and realize that I need Jesus with me to make it through. The people who have left are bad and I'm leaving has allowed me to do better things. The ones who have stayed showed me what it's like to be loved like Jesus, like Christ loved. The thing that has Things that have challenged my faith are losing loved ones, unsuccessful hunts, and my parents getting through a divorce. Some things that have helped in my faith journey are successful hunts, career relationships, and going to church. Someone who has helped me through my faith would be my mentor, John Linesville. He leads me to follow God and motivates me to go to church. He also encourages me to read my Bible and pray more. One way I would describe who God is is my creator. He tr is truly the one who made me and shaped me into the person I am today. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross to save me from my sins, which means I get to live without carrying the burdens of all the wrong I have done and get the gift of forgiveness. I also believe God gave us the Bible for the better of us all and to be guide us through our lives. We need a Savior in our life because without him we would not be who we are or be half as good as we should be today. Our Savior teaches us the truth, gives us a chance to start over and guides us in life. Faith in my family is not shown the best, but they all believe for their life. I learned about my faith by going through communion and then on to confirmation as I am in today. Without these things in my life, my faith would not be the best and I would be very different. My relationship with God or Jesus is growing stronger one day at a time. Some ways I spend time with God is when I try to read my Bible at night along with praying. I also spend time with God by going to church and confirmation. After I'm confirmed, I will maintain my faith by going to church, praying, and reading my Bible. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ben Butler, and I want to confirm my faith because I want to be close to God and let him guide me in my life through all the ups and downs. It is important for me because without him, you can do nothing, which is why I picked the verse. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. As I've gotten older, I be have become more connected to God by actually going to church and youth groups and not protesting it and wanting to go. I would only go if my friends are going and not actually to learn about God. One thing that helps with this is moving churches to this church which teaches better. The biggest change for in challenge for me is not having a grandpa for the remainder of my life. This has affected me in many ways, but mo mostly just gives me motivation to do things for them, which leads into who has guided me through my life and helped me teach and help teach me who God is. Helping me through all this is my parents and my grandma. My grandma has taught me to trust in him during hard times. She has always went to God first. She also likes to volunteer at many things to help others, which I want to do also because nothing in life is better than helping someone out. But my ins biggest inspiration, inspiration is Pastor, being my mentor and learning about his confirmation and how he was like as a kid to now becoming a pastor. 
and here are some things he has taught me throughout his confirmation about who God and Jesus is. God is the creator of all the natural beauty in the world we have today, the creator of heaven and earth. This is why I love being in, outside in his creation, fishing and hunting. Jesus is the savior of the earth and God's only son. Jesus has played a big role in my life, knowing he will come back one day to judge the living and the dead. This makes me want to do many good things and spread the word of God. I plan to keep going to church in high school youth group throughout high school. I will go as I grow old and keep Jesus in my life through prayer and reading his word. I'm confirming my faith so I can, can continue to be a child of God. I need Jesus to continue to bring me joy and guide me through hard times when I need strength, to give me strength. I plan to lean to him for everything in my life, whether it is sports or school or anything else. Hi, my name is Emma Cleave, and I chose the verse Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I chose this verse because it reminds me to follow God's plan. When I first read this, it showed me that I do not need to worry about everything that may happen, but to live in the future and live, leave the rest to God. After confirmation, I will keep my faith strong by reading the Bible, attending youth group, and praying every day. Confirmation is a big step in my faith. It is where I have grown my faith the most and started really understanding myself. As I become older, as I have became older, I have made myself more involved with my faith and church. One main thing that has helped me grow my faith is all my friends from Peace Lutheran. They have all made me feel safe and love learning about God. Riley, Carrie, and Mark have been the biggest influence on me and my faith. They were the people that got me involved and a part of Peace Lutheran. They have been the best role models and helped me love and enjoy attending all the events with the church. One event that changed my mindset was the mission trip. I wouldn't have gone if it wasn't for Riley. I thank her so much for getting me to go and making me have a blast while I was there. On the mission trip, I learned so many things about myself and my faith. I noticed that I want to build my faith even more, which led me to become a fully part of Peace Lutheran. My mentor, Grace, has shown me ways to grow my faith and believe in me always. She's made the mission trip more fun, and as a leader at our church, I look up to her. Nevertheless, my faith has not always been consistent, and I haven't always been involved with church. As I become involved with peace, I notice a huge difference in my faith. As my faith changed, I started to put my trust in the Lord and lean on him every day. This change has made me believe in myself more and made me notice all the small things in life. Confirmation is the building block of my faith, and foundation of my faith, and I want to keep that foundation strong and never lose it. When my grandpa passed, all my questions went to, why did this happen to my family? My grandpa was super involved in church, and I could not understand why he got taken so soon. I then realized that he has gone to a better place and that I should keep my joy high for him. Even though this situation was a struggle for me and my family, it made me grow more deeply in my faith and try to become more like my grandpa. God sent his only son, Jesus, to die for my sins. Jesus is my savior. Jesus has shown me that I've been strong every day and not give up. When I feel down and unworthy, I remember that I was worthy to die for. I live to be perfect. I live to be the perfect image for Jesus. I feel that I need to do so many more things just to live for what he has done for me. So I go through my days trying to make de decisions that represent him, although I am when I'm not perfect, I will try my best every day. To me, God is someone who will never give up on you and will always be there. It took me a while to realize that I always have someone with me when feeling like I have no one. God brings hope, love, and peace to me every day and reminds me to be more faithful to him. I want to share the love of the Lord with everyone around me and show him how much he can change your life. Going through tough times and not knowing what will come out of it is terrifying. But just like my verse said, God's, God has a plan for you. I hope that I can give out the love and hope to everyone around me just as God gives me love and hope.
Hi, my name is Henry Cleave. I go to Oconia High School and I'm in 10th grade. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 says, But they wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall bound up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. This verse tells the reader that faith will only make your life more possible under the Lord and better in the long run. I'm here to grow and change my faith. That's why I'm in confirmation. Faith is something that many people look for in their life. Faith is the confidence in someone and or something. Something like a bridge over a deep canyon. You don't know if it's going, going to break, falling down into a deep, dark abyss, taking it with it. You don't know, but you put your confidence in the buildings of the bridge. Their task was to bring you across the canyon safety, safely without an accident. Without faith, you, can, uh, you can't believe in other people. You can't cross that canyon because you believe that builders don't care about their job. This is just like God. God is the builder of that bridge to bring you over the canyon. You have to believe in the bridge or else you'll stay on that side forever. This is why faith is important to me. Things have challenged me over the years to grow my faith. Things like school or work have made it harder for harder to make it to church or other church activities. Many people and things in my life have helped me grow my faith. Sports that I've done, for instance, have helped me believe in some something or someone. In a relay event for swimming or track, you have to, you have to trust the person behind you to not run into you or give the, you the stick. <laughs> Same thing for them. They have to believe in you to not get disqualified or drop the stick. People in my life have helped me grow faith too. When, whenever I was at my grandparents, I would go out with my grandpa and help him on his farm. Most of the work would be easy today. But back then, I had no clue on what to do. My grandpa helped me every step of the way, making sure everything was in order. Then, when I went out to do the chore I had to do, he would watch me and correct me if I did anything wrong. When I did something wrong, he only tried to lead me to do something right, just like God. After a while of doing these chores day to day, he stopped watching and did his own thing. This helped build my confidence in what I was doing and in turn built, <laughs> built my faith in my grandpa. Faith in myself and others and God has more than changed over the years of my life because of these actions and instances to by loved ones and things. This has led me to inspire to try to be a greater every day of my life. God is the creator. Before time, God created the universe and the world for us to see or maybe explore in the future. God is like a grandparent. He loves you with all his love, even if you do something wrong in life. God watches over us, waiting to see if we have what it takes to make it to heaven. I believe that Jesus Christ is the only son of God and that he had lived the life of a human being. Jesus has helped me see what way to go in life. Jesus will come back someday to clean the world of all the sins. I believe in the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is God, and He comes to help our lives. When people are talking to God, I believe that is the Holy Spirit. Following confirmation, I'll try to keep growing my faith. I'll try to keep on going to the Sunday services. This will help me keep my faith in mind. i also try to better it in the real world, sports, and life. If there ever is a volunteer volunteering opportunity and it's a day I can go I will try to go and help someone this will help my faith confirming my faith is a big step in life uh, like when you graduate high school or college when you get your driver's license or when your first race these steps in my life turn almost into points these points will help me to decide where I should move on to my next step all these past experiences led me to this point which is why I believe that the way I should go is this. I need Jesus in my life. Jesus can help me get up after a hard fall in life or turn me the right way if I make the wrong turn. Jesus can help me figure out multiple ways I can go and find the best one to go. Jesus only cares for us. He'll never hate anyone. He would only do the best for me, and that is why I need Jesus in my life. Jesus has helped me believe in myself more than ever. What I believe faith is is the confidence in someone or something. Faith is, our, is in our everyday lives. We have faith in the people who make our cars so that they don't break. We have faith in the people who build our houses to protect us from the storms and rain and snow. We have faith in our parents in that they would always be there to keep us from doing bad. And we have faith in, our, in God in that he would always be there for us to help correct our ways and watch over us. Confirmation will confirm all this and in turn help us grow our faith. This is why I want to confirm my faith.
Hi, I'm Cullen, and I'm here today to share my reasons for faith and how I have seen my journey. First off, I just want to say I'm happy my parents put me through confirmation in the first place. Especially since I feel as though I may have not have noticed it before, but I really do have bonds with people like Shelby, Mark, Pastor, and John. They have shown me the path to God, and in doing so, I have really grown to appreciate them. They impact me. They impact my faith by showing me the way to God. I feel as if, though the whole time I've been going through church events and even just coming on Sunday, I grew from being just a little rambunctious kid who every Sunday Nicole would have to deal with to the person I am now. Though it may not be a lot to others, it's not where I want to be in life and faith. This is because of Jesus. To me, Jesus is a man who was set on his goals and strived for them and protected them. Even if people didn't believe him, he proved them wrong and showed him that showed them that they should trust in him and God. Him going through his journey in life and dying for me on the cross is a big thing to me because he gave me a chance. If he didn't save me, I wouldn't be able to have a chance with God or with family or with other things I want to strive for in life. Thanks to him trusting in God and saving me, I do feel saved. Thanks to him, I get to have a life. He is my savior, and I'm grateful. But if, but it would never be enough because I need him. Because I am a sinner like everyone else. To be honest, I see this statement as recognition of my being ready to move into another stage of life with God. So with my, so my verse is Psalm 56:4, which says, "In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, and am not afraid." What can mere mortals do to me? I picked this verse because right around COVID, when we went into the pandemic, I got very isolated and I felt a bit of safety in the solitude. So when we were all online and behind screens, I felt I could be myself without being judged, which is a great comfort to a timid little 11-year-old kid who never really understood other people. Then we came out of the pandemic and I had to go to school or see tons of people. I got a lot of anxiety. After a while, I got used to a lot of people being around. I just didn't do so with the conversations and just socializing. My mom and dad, my sisters, and especially Grady were the ones I socialized with. Me and Grady just may just be brothers, but in a way, I see him as one of my best friends. And who knows? Who knows? It could be from all those nights we stayed up playing video games and getting busted doing it. Thanks, Dad. Or from him being someone I could just t- talk to and not be seen as weird or different. So, being completely honest, he may just be ten. But he's my reason for faith because Grady and God and my family were the only things that weren't scary. Going back to my memories, I can see all the times we just sat in that back row with our parents and enjoyed just being there. He helped me grow in my faith because he was there and we learned about it together. So I didn't have to do it alone because being truthful, I was sick of being by myself. And now that I have learned that I'm never alone because when, because when God is with me, it feels like I have the safety of a little brother being right next to me. I know I enjoyed the isolation of being alone, but I enjoy being around others now. God helped me through that. I learned that with God, I shouldn't be afraid. That's because when God is with you, you don't have to do things alone. God will give you the strength and power you need to do the things you believe. Whether you're trying to talk to new people or trying to read your Bible every night, God will give you that power as long as you ask and trust him. That is why he makes me feel brave, because I trust him. So connecting back to my verse, I trust God because I trust my brother. This is because when God is with you, you are never alone. I trust my brother because he made sure I was never alone. I see that I see now that through God, he makes sure you aren't alone and that you shouldn't be afraid. I am not putting anyone in front of God, but him and Grady and my family will always be in my trophy case of memories. They are like those items you see that you hold so dearly that you always walk by and see them, and then you can't help but smile. So why do I want to confirm my faith? To make sure I always have that feeling of my little brother around to keep that little kid safe. I want to confirm my my faith to prove to myself that I am brave and people can't truly hurt me. To show I am ready for the next stage of my life. They can't truly hurt me because I am with God. He is my protector and he helps me to be strong. Even when others may hurt me, I am comforted by God because I know they can't truly hurt my spirit if I am with God. After all, he gives me power. I plan to spend my time out of confirmation, still coming to church, and being involved because I love this community, and I want to grow further with my faith. With my final words of faith, I just want to say thank you to my parents, sisters, and Grady.
My name is Becca Miller, and the Bible verse I chose is Isaiah 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with, your, with my righteous right hand. I've seen this verse many times in my life, but I first remember seeing this at a church camp I went to two years ago. Every day that week, we got a new Bible verse to talk about, and that was the verse of the day. We learned that no matter what we're going through or what situation we're in, God will always be there to help you and help you get, sorry, God will always be there for you and help you get through it. And after that day, it stuck with me, and I used it throughout my ups and downs throughout the years. Faith in my family has been a little different than most people's. My parents are split up, and my mom goes to church every so often, but my dad doesn't go. I still go to Wednesdays, and I still pray every night. And even though we are busy or we live far away, my parents still drive me to church, and I know that they support me in my relationship with God. To, G to me, Jesus and God are like a safe place, someone I can trust and someone I know will always be there for me, someone I know has a plan for me and will make sure I follow the plan, someone who helps me fix my mistakes and take things or people away from me that don't belong, someone who does really incredible things so that we can live with our sins forgiven. I just, just someone I know that will always love me no matter what. Someone who helped me grow my faith a lot is Mark and Grace. Other people have helped me, but Mark and Grace have just taught me so much. Mark has helped open me up and help encourage me to go to youth groups and go to more events. And Grace has been there for me when I have a question and helped me understand things more. I love learning from them every Wednesday and even on the mission trip. Everything I learned on the mission trip has changed my faith so much, and I'm thankful to have them in my life. Over the years, my faith has changed a lot. I remember when I was younger and I used to hate coming to church, I would try to fake sick to get out of it. Also, I only went to Wednesdays if my sister went so we could play games together. When I first started confirmation, I did what they asked me to do. I wrote down notes and then I left. I didn't think much at all about the stuff until after the mission trip. That changed my whole faith. I really learned about God, and I understood things more than I did when I was younger. After that, as I got older, I wanted to go to church more, and I wanted to learn about God. One of the things I learned is that I am not the same without God in my life, and I don't want God in my life. I need God in my life. And I'm excited to get, I'm excited to get confirmed and show everybody that I'm ready for the next step. And I'm excited to learn more about God in youth groups and at Sundays as time goes on. Hi, my name is Kaylee Paschke, and Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 is the verse I chose, and it reads, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith and in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. It's special to me because it reminds me of how much I've grown in my faith and that God is always with me. It reminds me that I'm living for him. Being crucified with Christ means that I no longer live according to my sinful desires, and to have Christ live in me means that my life is no longer directed by my sinful self. It is led by God. For me, living for Christ means that I represent him in everything that I do. Reading my Bible, trying to be as perfect as him, and sharing his word. Living through Christ brings me peace and joy. I chose this for my confirmation verse because I first discovered it on the mission trip last summer to South Carolina. While on that mission trip, my eyes opened up to God. I also got closer with Grace Carlin, who has helped me grow my faith tremendously. She really gets me thinking deeper about what's in the Bible and God's Word. She makes me think about the deeper side of things instead of just letting me say a basic answer. It, it's really helped me see things from a different perspective. I'm so blessed God put her in my life, and I'm forever thankful. If I were to describe God, I would describe Him as patient, loving, and forgiving. God is my best friend and always there for me. I can always talk to God no matter what I'm feeling. I fully believe that his son died on the cross for our sins. No matter how big or small the sin is, I am always forgiven. That's the best part about my religion. In my family, faith looks like going to church every Sunday, praying before meals, and openly talking about God and the things he does for us. I am so blessed to have a family that revolves around Christ. Our faith is constant and consistent. My family worships our Savior. I think all of us need a Savior because it's someone you can always fall back on and look up to. My Savior, Jesus Christ, is perfect in every way, and I try to be like him every day. Although I also fail to be like him every day, he always forgives me. 
Jesus still loves me unconditionally, even when I do things that aren't always forgivable. I spend time with God by reading my Bible. I love reading my Bible because it's the Word of God. It reminds me of all the great things that He does. I also go to church every Sunday and Wednesday. Wednesday youth groups are always a highlight of my week, and it just refills my battery. I get to spend time with others who also want to learn the Word of God, and it's just so refreshing. I'm so grateful for my church and the people who go. I am also very blessed to have friendships outside of my church who center their lives around God. I thank God every day for how far I've come. After confirmation, I plan to still attend youth groups and Bible studies. I will do my own Bible studies at home and continue to surround myself with people who love God as much as I do. Hello, my name is Carver Schrader, and I'm a freshman at Watertown Mayor High School. I play basketball and baseball and enjoy lots of outdoor activities. I have been coming to peace for as long as I can remember, and I am very blessed with all the opportunities and friendships I've made through being a part of the Peace family. I am very excited to continue growing with God, and I can't wait to see what he has planned for my life. The verse I picked is Psalms 18.2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust, it is one of my favorites because it reminds me that God is always with me and I can always count and trust in him. He is solid like a rock and when I need strength, I can always count on him. I can see God working in my life and surrounding me with more blessings than I can count. Through all the people he has placed in my life and all the things I've been able to experience through him, he has been right there with me through it all. This past summer, my grandpa unexpectedly passed away and at first I had a really hard time dealing with it. It was my first experience with death, and I didn't understand why God would let this happen. I was mad at God for a little while, but looking back on it now, I see that even though I was mad, he was still there with me through every step. And the people he placed around me, and all the love and support I felt through them. God always knows what's best, and I just have to remind myself that even in the hard times, he is always there, and he will always help me get through it, no matter what it is. One person God has placed in my life and helped me grow my faith over these past couple years is my mentor, John Peterson. He was always there for me, made coming, made coming to confirmation a blast, and brought me out to dinner multiple times. So to any of you kids out there who are looking for a great mentor, John Peterson is a great guy and very great option for someone. Thank you, John. Also, through peace, I've gone on many servant nights and just got to go on my first mission trip this past summer. From those nights are some of my favorite memories that I will remember for the rest of my life. After confirmation, I will proceed to go to church, read the Bible, and pray. I'll go to church on Wednesday nights and have a lot of fun. And thank you to Mark, who's always there and makes it a blast to come in. Thank you, peace. Hi, I'm Holly Sinan, and I am blessed to share my faith statement tonight. Romans 15:13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I chose this as my confirmation verse because of the amount of comfort it brings me, knowing that if I put all my trust in him, he will provide me with joy and peace and the hope I need to bring me through things. Throughout my faith journey, Grace Carlin has really helped me grow in my faith. Over the mission trip, she brought me closer to God and encouraged me to strengthen my faith. She would consistently remind me of the love Jesus has for me and always encourage me to open my Bible. My mentor, Carrie Sommer, has also been a huge role model in my faith journey as well. She has always been there and believed in me even when I didn't. Carrie always reaches out to me and lets me know that God is with me. As I've aged, I've started to notice God moving more in my life. The walk with Christ has been continuously challenging, but God is always there comforting me. School and sports can be a struggle daily, but I can always rely on God to provide me peace. I see God as my best friend. He is always listening to me and loving me unconditionally. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins, and with his sacrifice, we are saved. I believe that Jesus knows my full story and will guide me through life, no matter the ups or downs. I also believe that God has created a story for everyone, and each person can only fulfill it with Christ. I learned about faith through my family. It is very consistent, and that is how I began my walk in faith. 
My faith really jumped throughout the mission trip when I was surrounded by others, really pushing me to get closer to God. I continuously fail to be perfect, but every day God constantly reminds me that he made me in his image and that I am saved from my sins and forgiven. My relationship with God is such a great blessing. Often I drift away from God, but he always finds me and brings me back to him with open arms. I spend time with God by laying in my bed and just resting in his presence. The gift of joy from God is one of the greatest blessings. I believe that you should always see the positive in things and use the joy that God gave you to do so. I'm confirming my faith because I need Jesus in my life constantly. When I spend time with God, I feel at peace. I encourage others to have a conversation with God and feel how comforting he can be. I'm so blessed that God has sent me so many people to further my faith journey. Hi, my name is Tegan Williams, and I am confirming my faith because it is something that is important to me, and it's something that I want to be, I want to remember. My faith is important to me because I want to be able to know that I will always have God and Jesus in my life and by my side. There isn't just one person who helped me grow with my faith. It's everyone, like John, Carrie, Mark, Gladys, Mike, Nicole, Colette, Pastor, Grace, Nate. Danny, so many of the other people. There are also mentors and family members. So it's not just one person, it's everyone. For my faith, for my confirmation verse, I chose Philippines 4.13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. This verse tells me that if I'm going through a hard time or if I'm struggling with something, God will always be there and give me the strength to get through it. And whenever we are feeling down or feel like we just can't go for any further he will give us the power to keep on moving i think god is the person who helps us when we are out of strength and will i think he is the person who can give us challenges and knows that we even knows we can take it even if we think we won't get through it enough god is the type of person who will always be with us when we need him i spend my i also know that God always knows what's best for us. I spend my time with God when I can, but it's mostly at church. God's love is always going to be with us, no matter what happens or what we do. God and his love is everlasting, and we have to trust what happens to to us only for a reason. I believe that Jesus is also with us and is always the the Son of God. I also believe that he died on the cross for our sins, and that we should always pray for him and for ourselves. I think that Jesus has been with us through everything and that we should know that he can always help us just like God can. Following my confirmation, I plan to attend church service more and read the Bible more often than I do already. I want to be more active in the church, like participating in events and helping out around the church. I didn't start caring about my faith until we came here to peace. And before, I never really understood what God was or who Jesus was. But when we came here, it, they, they explained it very well, and it made sense. Ever since, my faith has been important to me, and getting confirmed is just one step closer to being with God and Jesus. Thank you. Well, thank you guys all so much for coming out tonight. We still have a lot of desserts, a lot of coffee to drink. Sorry. Um, But it really, it means a lot to me to see a lot of people, both parents and just members of our church, who who are here to celebrate this faith and here to celebrate the faith that is growing in our kids and growing in all of us, that that faith is something that's worth celebrating. Uh, Pastor, any chance I can throw the invisible lasso and get you to pray us out of here? It's not the, the fishing reel? You, you missed the invisible part. That, where's your imagination gone? Um, after pastor prays, I'm going to ask really quick, can I just steal the, uh, the confirmands and a mom or a dad and we're just going to quick, like, Two minutes, talk through one thing for tomorrow morning, um, and then we're going to eat a bunch of dessert. So, 
Let's, uh, let's bow our heads in prayer. Gracious God, we, we gather here tonight to hear the words of our young people as they express their faith. and We're just thankful. We're thankful for how you've worked in their lives through so many different people, from moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas and brothers and sisters. And also for those at the church here who have stepped forward to be a part of their lives and walk beside them. We're grateful. We pray, Lord, that in this moment now and tomorrow, as they make their commitment of faith and as they um, confess their faith in you, we ask that you bless them and hold them close and fill their hearts with your spirit. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen.